What is up everybody? Once again, it is time for Funko News. This video is coming out later than I originally planned for it to be up, but that is because I um, filmed an unboxing video earlier, which I will try to have that posted up tomorrow. And I gotta say, very impressive unboxing. I'm, I was really pleasantly surprised, so definitely make sure that you do check that video out. That's all I'm gonna say about it for now though. But um, definitely, as always, make sure that you do drop a like on this video. That is very much appreciated. And let's go ahead and get right into it. Funko News for October 11th, 2017, or as a lot of you may be seeing this, October 12th, 2017. So for starters here, I got to give a shout out to two individuals, starting off with JoJo3102. You see him there at the top of the screen with his out-of-box pops. Um, he has a lot of Marvel, um, DC going on there. I actually do have in my own collection, you all will see this when I do my collection video, I actually do have some pops that are out-of-box. Um, I don't know if I would ever go completely out-of-box with them just because it seems like uh, it would be kind of aggravating to keep them clean. But his collection looks very well organized and definitely appreciate you, um, you know, for being a supportive of the channel. Then I also want to give a shout out to Robert Kinzel. You see him there on the right with a pretty impressive collection there as well. I see some Chase figures, that black chrome Batman. So really good picture there. And Robert Kinzel is actually a YouTuber. So I will link his channel down below. As a matter of fact, I'll link off directly to one of his videos. Uh, make sure you go support him. Check him out. You know, see what you think about his content and uh, be supportive because it's all about community with me and I'm going to keep it moving that way. So, um, yeah, like I said, big shout out to these two individuals. Very much appreciate it. So getting into the news here, this is something that Funko did last year. They may have done it the year before as well, but I'm not really 100 percent sure. But they have this Instagram photo a day challenge. And um, I'm just going to read the details here quickly on the left hand side. So it says beginning this Friday, which is Friday the 13th, and going through November 10th, you can use at least one Funko item and post a photo matching the theme for the respective day. So it has to be at least one Funko item in the picture. You can use more, of course, but at least one item. And uh, you want to match up with these themes. So, for example, on um, the first one, Friday the 13th, the theme actually is Friday the 13th. So, um, yeah, I think that one's pretty easy to do. You know, if you have the figure or one of the figures of Jason Voorhees, pretty simple. Um, but it says here, interpret each day's prompt as you wish. So that means you can get creative. You don't have to go with the obvious. You can kind of mix it up. And then it says tag at original Funko and use the hashtag Funko photo a day. And your entries must be in. Um, they must be posted by 9 p.m. That specific time. Pacific Standard Time to qualify for that day's giveaway. This is limited to the U.S. and Canada, so um, yeah, just keep that in mind. And someone will be randomly selected each day to win a mystery proto figure. Now, if you're a new collector, that basically means a proto is like an unfinished figure, and they tend to um, uh, be very difficult to get your hands on. That's why a lot of people are into protos. They they're very difficult to get your hands on because, like I said, it is sort of a rough mock-up of a figure. It doesn't have the final paint job or anything to it. And, um, yeah, so this is a good opportunity. Very simple, fun thing to do as well. So getting to what is available now in some areas, and I always stress this, what's available in some areas. Okay, so if something hasn't reached your stores yet, it doesn't mean that it won't arrive. It may or it may not. You just have to kind of do your part and uh, check with those stores. Actually call them, talk to people, see what's going on. But um, the Costco exclusive uh, four packs from Star Wars The Last Jedi, you see that those have appeared in some Costco's. And um, they have the Rebel four pack, which does have Ray with a glow in the dark lightsaber. And then they have the F First Order four pack, which has Kylo Ren with a glow in the dark lightsaber. So that is something that does at least set them apart a little bit from the commons. Um, here in the upper right, you see that they have Halloween Town Sora. That's a Hot Topic exclusive that is showing up in some Hot Topics now. And then um, Elvira. A lot of people have been after Elvira, especially because there is a Chase variant. She has appeared in some Hot Topic stores. She's been on the website and then off of the website. And um, I will say this. Um, apparently, some orders will be held up and her being posted online again will be held up because there apparently was a mistake with the placement of the stickers on the boxes um it seems like the bo the sticker ended up inside of the box instead of outside of the box for some reason i don't know how that happened but yeah just knew, do know that elvira might be kind of difficult to track down right now but there are more on the way so just be patient with that 
Um, down there in the bottom left, you see it says that there are some horror related figures on Walgreens website right now. So just go to Walgreens website, type in Funko and, um, you know, to bring up everything they have available. But some figures have already sold out. They may get listed again. Who knows? I know that the glow in the dark, glow in the dark behemoth was available at the time of this recording. So yeah, just check it out and see what they have going on there. And then also the Crota figure, which a lot of people are after. And again, there is a chase variant. It's a glow in the dark chase. So um, yeah, a lot of people are really trying to hunt that figure down. It has appeared in some states. It's not all the way across the US right now. Just keep looking, be vigilant. And remember, ask people in stores what is going on because I can't do that for you. I can't tell you what's going on directly in your own stores. So don't be afraid to talk to people, ask them what is going on. Don't hound them to death, you know, but yeah, just ask them if they know anything about the figure and it would help to have a picture of the figure readily available on your phone. So something that they've done with the Funko Shop to try to prevent um, all of these uh, flippers, scalpers, whatever you want to call them, they have added CAPTCHA to try to prevent orders from bots hopefully this will help out some seems like it already has a little bit because i know that some orders have been canceled since they did this so yeah hopefully they will continue to tighten up their security just to make things fair for collectors a lot of people have been asking what happened to the little bit um exclusive which was supposed to be an nycc exclusive and technically still is it is on the way the um funko wasn't really clear about what the holdup was but the figure is on the way and um, it will be available online and in store when I learn more about that of course I will share that with you I cannot give you a specific date right now but like I said when I learn more I will share so Joyce in the hazmat suit this one is taking a little bit longer to come out than I expected but it seems like it will be available within the next week since she did actually appear in the latest Target sales paper so again the Joyce in the hazmat suit Target exclusive should be on the way very soon now theaters are getting into the Funko Pop game as well so um, SMG this is a I don't believe there's one of these in my area but Studio Movie Grill along with um, there are tickets for The Last Jedi you could get a pop figure there as well and I'll just let you all read the, um, the details there in the bottom left if you happen to have Studio Movie Grill in your area and I just want to give this quick reminder that um, for those of you going to Regal Entertainment Theaters um, to see Justice League then um, there might be a chance to get that unmasked flash. That's for those of us in the U.S. I know that outside of the U.S., um, you know, in other countries, some people have already been able to get a hold of that figure. Even here in the States, some people have managed to track this figure down somehow. But officially, it is supposed to be a Regal Entertainment release along with the actual Justice League movie. And I do want to hear from you all what you think about pop figures being, um, you know, available alongside movie releases I think it's kind of interesting. I don't know. We'll see how it works out in the long run. So moving on to some newer items here. Um, as far as Thor Ragnarok is concerned, you see that they have a lanyard here on the way, which does have the Gladiator Hulk on it. And I do like that. He um, it has sort of that force perspective thing going on there where you see like the hammer in the forefront. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Then they have this mug, which... Um, not really crazy about the the mugs you know when they have human faces on them it just looks very odd to me or just uh like yeah i mean human faces i guess you would say I, I like characters that are maybe more unique like the joker mug i'm a fan of that one i do have that one which came with the legion of collectors but you know to each his own so that mug is on the way then they have the pin toppers as well and you see that they have thor loki and hulk um these items should be releasing from no november to december range basically around the time of the movie um actually i think the movie will have been out already but we'll see how this works out um i think the last item to release if i want remembering correctly might be the mug but yeah just in the november to december range um be on the lookout for these items so disney afternoon action figures are on the way these are up for november release you see that they have darkwing duck and then they have a uh, nega duck which is actually a chase variant of darkwing duck it still says Darkwing Duck on the packaging, but that's actually Nega Duck. And again, that is a Chase variant there. They have Scrooge McDuck, they have Baloo, and then they have Chippendales, you know, the Rescue Rangers versions of Chippendale, which, yes, they definitely need to make pop figures of them. I really hope they make a Rescue Rangers 2-pack with Chippendale. I think that would be very cool. 
So, um, yeah, be on the lookout for these up for a November release. I'm not, some people may not be so crazy about the action figures, but I, I'm, I'm a fan of these. I think these look pretty cool. Not sure if they would buy them, but I definitely see myself getting some of the Disney Afternoon Mystery Minis once those release. So with Stranger Things, you see that they've decided to do 8-bit figures, which... I can understand them doing this just because of the era that the the you know the television show takes place in. But when they when they first announced 8 bit figures, I was kind of assuming that it would be all video game focused. Hasn't really been that way thus far. So uh yeah, and I haven't seen any 8 bit figures up close yet, so I really can't judge them completely fairly, you know. So, you know, we'll see how it goes with these. But again, these are up for um these are actually up for a mid to late November release. And um, definitely time to get hyped about the series returning. It will not be long now, October 27th. I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm sure a lot of you are as well. And just let me run through the figures here real quick. Now, do keep in mind, these are Target exclusives. So you see they have Eleven with Egos, they have Mike, they have Lucas, and they have Dustin. Okay, so for right now, all I know of is these four. We'll see if they do decide to do any more with this particular line. Kylo Ren with the TIE Fighter. Um, they love their TIE Fighters right now. And this is up for a November release. Although I gotta say, I think um, this design does look... Um, I, I, this one appeals to me more than the other ones that they've done. So, um, yeah, it seems like a step up. I still feel like when I look at these, it just looks like a kid outside of a grocery store on one of those little rides that you put you know, the quarters in. I, I guess they still have those in some places. As a matter of fact, I think they had one in the, the Logan movie. So, um, yeah, I guess they still exist in some areas, but yeah, that, that's basically what it looks like to me, but it's still kind of cool, you know, for, um, a Funko product. I, I think it does look cool overall. Again, up for a November release. So then speaking of Star Wars here, you see that they have a X-Wing Pilots 3-pack on the way, which does feature Biggs, Wedge, and Porkins. So, um, I, I think this is pretty cool. It is supposed to be a Walmart exclusive. No idea about a release date right now. Of course, if I learn any more about it, I will share that with you all. But, um, I'm not surprised that it's going to Walmart since it seems like they've been mainly getting, um, the three packs featuring Star Wars characters. But yeah, like I said, if I learn any more information about this, I will definitely share it with you all. And once I get, um, you know, the official images from Funko, I will share those. The vinyl two packs that are on the way here, I really like both of these. I, I think these really look incredible. So you see that they have their dark side with Martian Manhunter, which I think is a pretty interesting combination. And I just got the Martian Manhunter pop again. Thank you to Daniel for sending that my way. Really do appreciate that. Um, and you all check out that unboxing video if you haven't done so. But, um, you know, even though I gave away the figure still, really appreciate you for doing that, Daniel. And then um, you see here they have a Thundercats to pack with Panthro and Chitara, which I think, again, looks pretty incredible. I really like Panthro's weapon. I mean, he's basically like Nunchuck. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And, of course, there was the Thundercats uh, two pack, um, vinyl two pack, which was a NYCC exclusive, which... I may have to get my hands on that now because I'm looking at this one and I feel like I got to have this. So I feel like I got to have, you know, the Thundercats together, the team. So, yeah, I'm really interested in these and in these and these are up for a December release. And I'm definitely interested to hear what you all think about these. I know some people haven't been crazy about the vinyl two packs thus far, but I, I like them. I really do like the look of them and I'm really interested to see how more characters look as they are released. Really can't wait for that Rick and Morty one. So getting to hot topic here now first of all you look here to the left hand side of the screen that is pretty cool to me I, I like the rock candy figures and I, I think I have all of the Harley Quinn ones except for that what DC girls or whatever it is that one to me is just too far away from the Harley Quinn I'm used to but um, I do have the other ones and I definitely plan on getting this one you see they have a hot topic exclusive holiday Harley, Harley Quinn excuse me which um I I think I saw that it might be metallic and not 100% sure on that. Regardless, this is one that I definitely have to have. So I'm definitely looking forward to that one. And yes, I know it is just a repaint, but still I'm a fan of it. So I, I definitely see myself getting that one. And then these other raw candy figures here, I've, I've shared these before, but you see they have the Hot Topic exclusive Cruella DeVille. And what makes her exclusive from the common one is that her um, fur coat is actually flocked. 
and then they have maleficent again hot topic exclusive which is a glow in the dark variant these will be limited to 3500 pieces now that sounds like a good number but you all got to remember that there are a lot of disney fans out there so once these release which should be pretty soon and i will share once they hit store shelves um i would not wait around if you see them in your interest to go ahead and pick them up and by the way, um, I do want to point out again, the rock candy packaging has been redesigned some. They made it a little bit smaller, which, um, you know, and they do have the hanging tab on there. So you may not always see these figures where you're used to seeing them. Just kind of look around if you are on the look for some rock candy figures. And then a um, bit of sad news here that I know some people really don't want to hear. There will be no restocks on NYCC, Goofy, and Donald. I'm not sure why that decision was made, but I mean, that is what it is. They really are keeping it limited. So again, no restocks on the NYCC, Goofy, and Donald. And then it also says here, there will be one exclusive Dorbs each week in November and December coming from Hot Topic. Again, one exclusive Dorbs each week in November and December. I really have no idea what the characters will be. Of course, you know, once I learn that information, I will share with you all. Now, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, that movie has a good while before it comes out. It's not out until June of next year, but Funko has already worked out a deal um, in order to do some figures based off of that movie. So a lot of possibilities there when we get into Jurassic World and uh, who knows, maybe they'll have the opportunity to go back into the franchise. That would be pretty cool. Um, you all let me know what are some Jurassic Park and Jurassic World type figures that you would like to see made. I just feel like, yeah, there's a lot of possibilities there. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what they do with this license. And then fans of the Bullet Club, and, you know, maybe you're just fans of the Young Bucks or fans of the Bullet Club in general, they do have pops on the way. And they seems like they won't be out until next year, though. I really don't know much about this group of wrestlers. I'm, I'm trying to learn a little bit about them. I know Anthony Nelson has told me some things about them. Um, I definitely want to hear what you all think about them. But yeah, it looks like, again, their um, pop figures are on the way next year. And it is pretty official. I'm not putting this into rumors because it seems pretty official. The Young Bucks put it out there that they did sign a deal. So that to me is pretty solid. So now I do want to quickly get into the rumor mill. I think I just have two quick things to share with you. Nothing too major here, but just two quick things. So for one, it seems like Toys R Us may soon be getting some exclusive pop tees with pint-sized heroes, which will feature Rick and Morty, Batman, Five Nights at Freddy's, WWE, and Friday the 13th. The only reason I'm treating this as a rumor is just because, I mean, this... This is all I have to go on, what you're seeing here on the left-hand side. And to me, that's not a lot to go on. So, I mean, there's, you know, strong possibility that's legit, but I'm going to wait and actually see the images, and then I will share that with you all. I know some people really are into the pop tees, and it is kind of a bonus to get a pint-sized hero along with it. So, like I said, once there are some official images, and this is more concrete, then I will share that, you know, if this pans out to be true. And part of the reason I'm also treating this as a rumor is because I know some of these franchises have already been covered in this way, um, especially Rick and Morty. I know there was a Rick and Morty pop tee that came along with a pint-sized hero of Rick. So that's why I'm saying I'm just kind of waiting to see what the official images are. And then I know a lot of people were not happy that the Red Stormtrooper was not only a Target exclusive, but also a Red Card exclusive. Well, it seems like there might be a way for you to get the Red Stormtrooper without having the Red Card if this proves to be true. It seems like when this figure is returned, because some people ordered more than one and then they basically just kept the, you know, the best box and then they returned the others. And it seems like what Target is doing is taking those returns and just putting them out either with clearance or with the other pop figures. And um, yeah, so this might be a way for you to get the Red Stormtrooper. If anybody is able to get one in this way, let me know. I don't know if this was just for this one particular location or if all Target stores are doing it this way so I definitely want to hear if anybody's able to get one in this way so that is going to do it for this edition of Funko News as always I hope everybody got something out of it you know again um, thank you to uh, the people I gave shout outs to I really appreciate the support um, if you want to know about how to get a shout out that's something I've already shared on the channel you can check that out I do want to um, be clear about it though um, 
before I give a shout out, I do kind of look and see what's going on with the individual. I want to make sure that you are, you know, a legitimate collector. If you have a YouTube channel, I am going to kind of check out your videos to get a feel for what you have going on on your channel. If I think it's really worthwhile for people to check out, you know, I, I'm not just going to give a shout outs without, you know, following up on it, basically. And I know that some people aren't really worried about shout outs, which is fine. You know, that is perfectly fine. But, you know, some people are into them. Some people appreciate them. So that's who I'm doing that for. And at the same time, people I'm giving shout outs to are people that are supportive of my channel. So it does kind of matter to me as well. You know, but we're each titled, entitled to our own opinions on that. Again, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you give the video a like. And I look forward to talking to you all down in the comments. You all take care and I'll talk to you all again real soon.